The sensation of being a great DJ, seeing a connection between you and these people. If you're a DJ and you can experience this, and you taste this drug once, you're hooked. Lauren wants to make you cry. He wants to really attach your emotions to the sound. It's the Pope. <laughs> He's a DJ's DJ. You're 18 years old. You say goodbye to your parents. Two hours after, you're in London, and then nothing is forbidden anymore. <laughs> and all you have to do is play. Uh, quite ripe for change. We were trying to make something together, something that lasts. We created the sound that created the movement. When we made Acid Tracks, we knew it was different. We knew that for sure. And we were like, okay, we got our sound. Detroit music was the soundtrack of the reunification. So the connection on the east side with new music was huge. So many nights where it was just raining inside by the condensation and the heat. We wanted to embrace their music, play their music, because we loved it so much. It was about the music and it was about the relationships and the friendships, but I don't think any of us could imagine where we would be sitting 30 years later. Everywhere there was new clubs dedicated to techno. In France, it's like everybody's trying to shoot us. What's going on in France? Why is it so hard? When the trucks arrived in Bastille, the meaning of that was so huge. Techno music has taken Place de la Bastille. Billions of people have been affected by that. Techno music was like a, a huge tsunami. 